Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again in Unit 7, <clears throat> Lesson 2. We are talking about the events that happened in the uh, 20th century. So now we have an important event that happened in that uh, century in 1969. So let's listen to that event. The first man on the moon. On the 16th of July, 1969, at 9.30 in the morning, Apollo 11 lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There were three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. The enormous rocket took three days to complete the 250,000 miles to the moon, traveling at six miles per second, 21,600 miles an hour. Then it circled the moon 30 times, giving time to prepare for the landing. The Lunar Landing The lunar module landed on a part of the moon called the Sea of Tranquility at 8.17 in the evening on the 20th of July. It was time for the astronauts to rest, but they were too excited to sleep. At 3 o'clock in the morning on July the 21st, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. 600 million people all over the world watched on TV. As Armstrong took his first steps, he said the famous words, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Walking on the moon Armstrong and Aldrin spent two and a half hours walking on the moon. They collected samples and set up scientific equipment. Finally, they put up a U.S. flag. After 22 hours on the moon, the lunar module lifted off and flew up to join the rocket that took them back to Earth. They left an inscription. Here, men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969. We came in peace for all mankind. This flight was the beginning of man's exploration of space. Okay, so this is the activity that we are going to discuss and making conversations to give and uh, answer questions about the first man and the moon, and I prefer to listen to it again. The first man on the moon. On the 16th of July, 1969, at 9.30 in the morning, Apollo 11 lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There were three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. The enormous rocket took three days to complete the 250,000 miles to the moon, traveling at six miles per second, 21,600 miles an hour. Then it circled the moon 30 times, giving time to prepare for the landing. The Lunar Landing The lunar module landed on a part of the moon called the Sea of Tranquility at 8.17 in the evening on the 20th of July. It was time for the astronauts to rest, but they were too excited to sleep. At 3 o'clock in the morning on July the 21st, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. 600 million people all over the world watched on TV. As Armstrong took his first steps, he said the famous words, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Walking on the moon. Armstrong and Aldrin spent two and a half hours walking on the moon. They collected samples and set up scientific equipment. Finally, they put up a U.S. flag. After 22 hours on the moon, the lunar module lifted off and flew up to join the rocket that took them back to Earth. They left an inscription. Here, men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon, July 1969. We came in peace for all mankind. This flight was the beginning of man's exploration of space. Now let's go to the task. <clears throat>
1. Choose the correct alternative. 1. Apollo 11 took bracket, days to travel from Earth to Moon. 3 or 6. 3. Okay. 2. The, the rocket circled the Moon three, 30 times or 250,000 times before it landed. 30 times. It finally landed on July 20 or July 21. July 20. Okay. Watch it, Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. Six million or six hundred million? Six hundred million. Let's check our answers. All of them are correct. Okay. Okay, and now uh, exercise two. Listen again and complete Tommy's questions. Uh, tape script 7.3. Let's listen to this uh, tape script. Tape script 7.3. One. How many TV channels were there? Two. What time did programs begin? Three. How much pocket money did you get? Four. What sort of comics did you buy? Five. Where did you go on holiday? Six. How did you get there? Seven. Why did you go to the same place? Now, uh, exercise number three. Uh, what did Bill say about these things? Color TV, TV programs, dishwashers, planes, uh, holidays, pocket money. يعني لازم شوي نرجع للمحاضرة السابقة حتى نشوف المحاورة. نكمل. Let's listen to this uh, tape script. Tape script 7.4 1 Where did you go? To the shops. 2 When did you go? Yesterday. 3 Who did you go with? A friend from work. Drama is about uh, one write the past simple uh, forms. Present simple, past simple. يعني عندنا هنا زمن المضارع البسيط هنا الماضي البسيط جملة بالمضارع البسيط تتحول to transfer it into uh, the past simple for example I want to go this sentence in the present simple I wanted to go in the past simple okay he loves it he loved it do you watch TV did you watch TV where does she work? Where did she work? I don't buy sweets. I didn't buy sweets. They don't go on holiday. They didn't go on holiday. Okay? Complete the time expressions. Henry Ford sold the first Model T. Model T. And you can, this exercise as a homework for you, okay? Now, practice. Match the questions, words in A with uh, a line in B, and an answer in C, okay? So let's listen to this exercise where the WH questions, Adawat al Istifham, where أدات السفام نسأل بها عن المكان وين نسأل بها عن الوقت هو نسأل بها عن فعل عاقل how عن الكيفية why the reason سبب what نسأل بها ماذا how many عن كم عدد المرات how much عن كمية وضع شون زين نجي نستمع لهذا تيب سكريبت 4.7 7.4 تيب سكريبت 7.4 1. Where did you go? To the shops. 
two. When did you go? Yesterday. Three. Who did you go with? A friend from work. Four. How did you get there? By bus. Five. Why did you go? Because I wanted to. Six. What did you buy? A shirt. Seven. How many did you buy? Only one. Eight. How much did you pay? Twenty-nine pounds. Okay, thank you for your listening. We complete next week. Have a nice weekend. Thank you very much.